Hello, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. It's a wet and windy Sunday here in Narbeth, Wales. My name's Wendy from Wendy's Craft Den and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Now if you look at, uh, have a look at my last unboxing, I was unboxing a sweet um, called the Hydrangea Sweet Hill Sweets. So what I've decided to do with this catalogue is do as many, many as possible videos for you with lots of different ideas just working on this one suite. Uh, I find it easy, well I have found it uh, easier and a bit more cost effective to buy the whole suite together. You get the you get the dies, you get the stamps, you got the little pearls. Um, let me see if I can show you. Right. They're the pearls. And unfortunately, I was showing them to uh, Esther from Stampin' Star Creations the other day. And I've lost them. I cannot find them anywhere, so I've ordered another set of those for us. Yeah, I'm going to start from very simple and uh, you follow my process through because I've never done this before, worked with a sweet. So it's going to be something new for me also. It's going to be a drink, hang on. Hmm. All right. So, like I said, <clears throat> this is something new for me, so hopefully we can learn as we go along. Now that I've seen a lot of Thumbing uh, Up Demos doing this, so I thought I'll have a go with it and maybe encourage you to do the same. Ah, glorious. Right, um, what I've done here is I've got the uh, papers front and back. Front to back, front front to back, front to back, front to back, front and back. But up to you could be the other way round if you like that better than that or that better. You know what I mean. Just have a play of it. Now, I I also uh, I've also rather die cut everything. Now this is Highland Heather, and this is the one one of the colours that go with this suite. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Yes, you got Rococo Rose, which is what I've stamped this in. Uh, seaside Spray, Highland Heather, Misty Moonlight, and Old Olive. So, a lovely combination of colours there to, for these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flowers. Oh dear. <laughs> Can you all, all of them come now? Right, so if I start showing you. Now this is what the die set looks like. Hang on. Right, so you can more or less see what goes where, can't you? Now these, I thought, oh, they're going to cut it, you know, into a strip, but they don't. They will actually cut out individual little flowers for you. Layers, petals, layers. Hmm. Flower, we'll call it flowers, why not? Um, and then you've got these these little sentiments, um, little sentiment one, and let's see if I can... Let's see stays where you want it to, to see. You can... Pardon me, cut it out. It's a bit big, isn't it? Cut it out in that one. And let's see, now what can we... Just play around with them. You see, you could put that in there. I appreciate all the things you do. I love you. For you is a bit big. But you could do that for you with love, couldn't you? Um, then, then, then you've got this little tag. Now, tags are starting to grow on me. The more I learn about them, obviously better but you can make them into cards uh, bookmarks just you know your from and to labels on any gifts that you send to your friends 
And uh, yes, they're very useful. Now these, this little tag, I've got a feeling that this is what you use to cut out the with love and I love you, thank you. So you can get it. It's a bit better than having a long one, if you know what I mean. Because then you've got all that white either side. But if you use a little one, you can centre it and it's just the right amount of weight showing up, down, left and right. There's that one. Oh, it's on the... And then I've got this die here, which is... I should have thought of this better. I'm ever so sorry if I go out of shot. This die here will cut out... Wrong way round, wrong way round. We'll cut out that piece like that. And it's it's also very good to cut cut the die out because you then know what it looks like. I know that sounds daft, but if you look at that, you think, well, what does that do? What does that this is how you do it. Uh yes, yeah, so I've done that. I I haven't stamped out the the two step stamping bits, but I shall explain it to you in a minute. Um, down here, these are the mercury papers. There's, uh, I can't remember how many there is now. Three, I think. One, two, four. Four sheets of paper. There's two, this must be the Rococo Rose, and two Highland Heather. And I put this in because that's what's on the back of the of the of these um beautiful flower look at the size i mean it it's huge isn't it i don't know quite how big it is but it's getting on for about four or five inches i imagine oh look at that four inches smack on i'm getting good with my measuring aren't i <clears throat> then you've got single leaves here and then you've got these there that you can either put on where's that other stick got uh no, you won't be able to do that. Never mind, you can use the, the leaves on the floor or whatever. And all these these little ones here with the leaf and the flower, what you... Oh, I just had an idea. <laughs> Would they fit? What I was thinking of is if you put it like that, you could then maybe stamp the flower and the leaf so you'd have a little bit extra, wouldn't you? On your tags. Um, yes, it's got thank you, love you. You, I appreciate all the things you do for you with love. That says congrats, but I forgot to get the S did, done right. The world is better because of you. You make me smile to an incredible woman and a little teeny tiny thank you. But I thought, well, that. Oh, I just had another idea. Do you know you? I, um, you must encourage me or something through every time I do a video I come up with all these ideas uh, this little thank you you could you could um, put put a pile of them different colours and you could make a lovely uh, topper or a mat for any of your cards now then we were talking about these would we first obviously that's that one now this one, this was a little special, because I looked at it and thought, hmm, don't know what that was for, but I'll bring this up to you now. I've cut it flat, okay, but what you can do, you can sort of bump it up. Sorry, I don't know the other word for bump, but bump will do. And when you do that, you, it shows up better with this, actually. You can drag them all up. I make them into, I mean, it would be better if you had a purple behind there. But you could put that, stamp that onto that, cut it out, and you'd have a, a bumped up hydrangea. Right, so there's that, that, and that. Like I said, it's two step stamping. Right. Oh, it's you know. So we can do these are the. <clears throat> these are the <coughs> dear me. These are the pieces that after you've stamped, after you've stamped these, these are the pieces that you can use as 
filling in one ones. All you need to do is I'm trying to be clever now, aren't I? You watch me fall flat on my face. Right, do put it on your block. Give it a little rub with your hand to get all that film off the front of it. And you just line it up then. And there we go, you've coloured it in. It's that quick. The same goes for these ones. You know, you can put stamp that one for that even. You can stamp that. Um I I heard somebody the other day saying it was a little bit like watercolouring your stamping. Because it doesn't use <coughs> sorry. It doesn't exactly go. Well it does if you were there for ages and um and you practiced and all you saw it, it would be good. But if you can see here there is a slight margin all the way around. There is watercolouring Sometimes the, the paint just bleeds through, so that is a brilliant one. So there's two step stamping. You get your stamp sets, two of them, two stamp sets, a uh, die set that keeps coming in done. Put it back like that like for them. What I usually do with these, I usually get. Um, <laughs> oh, my, a magnet, magnetic sheet, and I cut it down, and then I put put them all on top of there, close that, and in it fits inside my stamp pad, all nice and tidy. Like I said, there's all two pearls that come with this, and I wish I could find them, because I haven't been anywhere, I've only stood here by my desk, and it's gone. It's probably hiding underneath something because they're, they're not very they're not very sticking up ones. They're quite quite nice, beautiful shine on them. And what also comes with this is this. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Okay. I'm trying to be careful. Hope you can see that. But it is just so beautiful. So, you know, flowy and oh, lovely. It's going to be beautiful to make bows out of. And maybe you could combine this with a. Um, I think white might be a bit stark. But if you combined it with a little bit of very vanilla, you could do a two toned um, bow. So I'll be, I'll be trying that out and I shall bring you the. The result later, well not later, because it won't be today, it'll be tomorrow now. Um, I'd also like to thank you very much for subscribing to me. I think I will be able to hit that 100 before the end of the year. And thank you all for your message and condolences. Um, it's very much appreciated and uh, I do feel, I feel like you're all with me you can't be so thank you very much for everything so that's it if you want if you need any more questions if you need any more no if you have any more questions then please drop me a line uh under this under this um what's it? it's in the description box below and uh what else was i was gonna say something else to you do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de. No, it's gone. Never mind. Okay, so hopefully when you get your suite and lay it out like this, I'm sure some of you are far better on the laptop or computers than I am. And you can put nice headings and everything on there. I just went around and bang, 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 bang. In an orderly fashion, of course. Okay, thank you very much for being here and uh, I'll see you again. I'm hoping to get another video done tomorrow. And like I said, I'll be using this suite for a few weeks and I will be starting off with stamping as a very first thing, you know, uh, going back to very beginning and all the way up then to as complicated as I can manage it. So there we go. Thank you for listening to me dribble on and I shall see you again soon. Bye.